What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to part 17 of my full playthrough of Crash Bandicoot 3 on the PlayStation 4. When we at last left off, we backtracked through two different levels in the fourth warp area. Both of them were Egyptian levels. One of them was Sphinxinator. Uh, we were not able to get one of the clear gems our first time through because it required the blue gem because it was a blue gem path uh, but since we got the blue gem in tomb waiter we were able to go back in and get that clear gem and then we went back into tomb waiter because the last time i played tomb waiter i missed one box for about the fifth time in my let's play series of these three crash bandicoot games so we got that one box and so we finished both those levels and so now in this part i'm going to move on to the fifth warp area and the last five levels uh probably the only level i'm going to get to in this part is gone tomorrow because it's a futuristic level and it's pretty long and as you can see i could get two clear gems here one for breaking all the boxes and another for either a no death path or colored gem path i don't know which one but uh if you remember we had one future level before i think it was called future frenzy and now gone tomorrow is just like it and the interesting thing is that future frenzy i wasn't able to get either clear gem there either and i'm not even sure why i think you got to enter the level from another level that's why but hopefully i don't have to do that here so let's head right into it and see what we got going on here. Unlock a new path by earning the green gem. Well, we haven't gotten the green gem yet because the green gem is actually in World 5. So if we get the green gem in World 5, we're going to have to come back here. And yes, I do have the bazooka, so get out of here. Get out of here, Mr. Flying Saucer Man. Uh-oh, these things. When they're spinning like that, you can't hit them. Oh, come on. Come back here, you cretin. Oh, I almost, I almost got both. Oh, I stepped on its head. Oh, you see this thing? This, like, giant truck... Uh, it's basically going to open up and it's going to try and fire something at you, but I think it's going to leave itself vulnerable. So when that happens, we can uh, shoot it with our bazooka. Although, can I shoot it right now? No. Uh oh. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, see? Yeah, so avoid the rockets. And then hit his target. There you go. One of the m more interesting enemies in this game. They didn't have enemies like that in the first two games. Oh, and there's 87 boxes in this level too. Ah, oh, no. Ah, out of my way. Stop firing your missiles at me. I already had to deal with missiles being fired at me in the boss fight with Dr. N. Jin. Now, this is going to be an interesting time trial. Ugh, get him. Oh, I could, I could hit that guy while he's got his shield. That's a little awesome. Oh, what's this nonsense? Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's hit those things and see what that does. You're like, oh, I'm going to have to walk all the way over there, hit those, and have to walk all the way back. Why do that when I could just do that? Saves me the trip. Oh, we're up to 49 lives. We're halfway to 99. Sort of. Okay, grab that. Grab that. Oh, and the funny thing is you can actually grab fruit with fruit. How that makes sense, I don't know. 
There we go. But yeah, that's really weird that you can grab fruit with fruit. Oh, it's, oh, oops. I was supposed to, well, I could just get it with the bazooka launcher. So you're like, oh, how are you supposed to do that? Well, with this. Wait a minute, there's more. Oops. All right, is there another switch somewhere? Cause there, that box is still not visible. What the heck? Because I don't want to step on this last platform because that's going to take me to the next area. Dang it, man. Where is this last thing? I'm not missing another box again. I don't get it. I don't see anything that it could be. I thought one of those boxes would do it, but they all made other things become visible, not what I needed to become visible. I don't get it, man. Was I supposed to hit those buttons in a particular order? I'm gonna miss one box because I don't know where the switch is. Ow. Oh. Well, let's step on this and see if I could... Maybe I gotta press it and come back. That's so annoying. Oh, well, there's the crystal. We already get the crystal. Out of my way. Don't need you in my way right now. Uh oh, I forgot about those things. I I thought I jumped over it. Dang it. There's more invisible boxes. Why? Stop with the invisible boxes, man. At least we could do this. Oh, we can activate the switch with TNT, remember? That did that, and now, oh no, not a nitrous box. Out of my way, nitrous box. Bazooka launcher is my favorite thing in this game. I can't stop using it, man. I gotta, I gotta use it. I mean, look, all those nitrous boxes. You think I'm gonna jump over those? No. Get out of my way. Bazooka launcher says no. Ah. <sighs> So I'm wondering if this is another level where we're going to have to enter the level from another level uh, to get those boxes to appear. You know what I mean? Because there's three boxes now that I can't get to appear. And that's annoying. Get out of my way, turtle shell. You already took away my mask screw you Ow. oh yeah there's the green gem path maybe that's where we have to activate the switch probably oh yeah like I'm gonna jump off that box to get across crazy or something Get squished, Mr. S Turtle Man. Look at this futuristic city. Is this what cities are going to be like in the future? Because they look pretty sick. Minus all the lasers. I hope the lasers aren't in the future. 
Oh, and by the way, you can't shoot the lasers. Can't do that. That's a no-no. Game says no. Oh, I almost landed on it. Get out of my way. Oh, I almost... Oh, I thought I could use the turtle shell to take out the big truck guy. Oh, son of a bitch. I pressed the wrong button. Because you can just do that. You don't have to... Oh, 70 boxes. And here I was thinking that was going to be a one level part. And then it turned out to be a shorter level than I thought. Stupid green gem. So I guarantee you there's probably boxes down the green gem path. And there's probably a switch down the green gem path that you need to hit in order to get those boxes to appear. Because there's three boxes we couldn't get to appear. Oh no, the next level's orange asphalt? I, I don't want to do that! It's another f bike race. The first one was easy. It only took me two or three tries to win first place. The second one took me like seven tries to get first place. This is the hardest one of the three. And it's going to take me at least two attempts because I'm going to have to get the gem for breaking all the boxes. Flaming Passion. Mad Bombers. And Bug Light. You know what? In a rare turn of events, instead of doing level 22, because that's going to be a whole part in itself... I'm actually just going to do Flaming Passion to get the green gem. Because then what I could do next time is if I get the green gem, I could go back into... Uh, what is this level called? Gone Tomorrow and get both those gems. I know technically I want to do them in order, but this is... You know, it's not like the first game where you had to do the levels in order. This game, it gives you a choice, and I choose to go out of order. Because I don't want to do that stupid race. Oh, it is a no death path. Okay, we could do this. Wish I had my masks, but who needs a mask when you got Bazooka Launcher to get rid of all the enemies? What? Why won't this guy die? Thank you. Because the, the good thing is, if I get rid of all the enemies, it's literally just platforming. And I could do platforming. Oh, and you know what's really funny? You know the guys that throw the Molotovs out the window? You can actually shoot them. <laughs> Takes care of him. And look, it boards up the window. <laughs> so he can't do it anymore. Oh, we're up to 52 lives. Platforming I can do. Dealing with these enemies. Really? How did I miss that jump? Why did I jump right? All I had to do was jump straight. All I, I just said platforming I can do. And then I jumped to the right off a cliff. Damn it. Look at him looking out the window. He's like, did I get him? No, you didn't get me. Out of my way. Stop slashing with your sword. That reminds me of a scene from the first Indiana Jones. You know how a couple parts ago I said that those Neo symbols on the ground that you had to walk on to get across this area reminded me of Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade? Because in that movie, at, towards the end when he's going after the Holy Grail, he has to walk across these p platforms that spell out something. And if he sp steps on the wrong thing, he'll fall. Well, it's the same thing there. But this actually reminds me of the first Indiana Jones. Uh, Temple of the Lost Ark. Where he was fighting this guy that had swords. And the sword guy was doing all these crazy tricks. And then Indiana Jones just pulls out a gun and shoots him. That's exactly what I just did to that guy. He was just throwing his sword around and I just took out my bazooka and killed him. 
Just complete disregard for that enemy. Oh, he's like, did I get him? No, how did I miss? Ha, can't get me now. Oh, and he could do it to the monkey. Get out of here, monkey. Yeah, how about that, monkey? Remember, we can't die after the first checkpoint or no, no death path for me, so... Gotta be careful here. Oh, now they're throwing Molotovs from both windows? Got him. Die! There we go. Okay. There's more Molotovs? You know what? You know what, Mr. Molotov guy? Poke your head out again. Yeah, how about that? And check this out, too. Boom! Now I can get on the flying carpets like Aladdin. The Arabian Nights. Yeah! Like Arabian Days. And the crystals right here. How do we... We got the crystal that quick? Usually they put the crystal at the end of the level, not halfway through the level. Oh well. It's so awesome, this bazooka. Oh no! A Molotov cocktail! That technology I can understand, but the flamethrower that that one Egyptian guy had? That I don't understand. Like, why does an Egyptian guy have a flamethrower? They didn't have that kind of technology. This guy's gonna be the death of me, so you could go away. You're not ruining my no-death path. Only I can ruin my no-death path. Crap, I'm gonna get it just right. No. You are going to poke your head out and die. There we go. Phew. Got him out of the way. Damn it. Okay, wait for the flame. There we go. Oh, you thought I was gonna let him live? You thought I was gonna let him live? No. Nobody lives in my journey. In my journey, everybody dies except me. No death path. And remember, all you have to do is step on the no death path, and even if you die in the no death path, or die trying to get back to it, it's there. It won't go away. So now we can attempt this to my heart's content! Oh, I didn't see that sword. Crap, now I'm all the way back here. Really? I gotta go all the way back up again. Luckily, it's still gonna be there, but that's just annoying. Okay, wait for that. Ugh. No, get up. Alright, so this no death path actually reminds me of a similar path in the second crash game where we were dealing with that hunter that had the gun firing the slow moving bullet. Well, this time we've got the guy throwing the swords at us. Out of your sword, man. Oh, there's a checkpoint in the no death path. Getting it. <laughs> Wait, what? I can't hit it. Oh, that's interesting. There we go. Got that out of the way. Checkpoint. It's weird how I can't hit the checkpoint with the bazooka launcher. That's the one thing I haven't been able to hit so far. Oh, and that big guy with the the missiles. Really? Good thing I got that checkpoint. Damn it, man. always my enemy is the perspective it's not the enemies that kill me it's the perspective that kills me let's see if I can get this guy I can't it won't let me aim over there 
No, why are you aiming over there, Crash, you little bastard? There we go. Luckily, it doesn't look like there's any boxes down this way, so once we get this gem, we can just continue on. Oh, why'd I do that? Stop doing that, Crash. So why couldn't they have done this for the yellow gem? You know how the yellow gem, I gotta go into another level to get it? But that level's a bonus level that I don't have access to? Well, I could get the green gem by doing no death path, so why can't I get the yellow gem doing that? Sucks. It's going to be the only color gem I'm not going to be able to get in this playthrough. I'm going to have to wait until 700 subscribers. Is this the same place it dropped me off? This is a different spot. I haven't even done the bonus level yet either. my way the worst part is I'm gonna have to get a checkpoint we're gonna have to go back I have to get a checkpoint really the checkpoint was right there no now I'm stuck in the no death path come on I just got the gym Dang it, man. I knew that was going to happen. At least the checkpoint is right there. But then I'm still going to have to backtrack further. Come on, dude! I told you, it's just like the hunters th shooting the bullets at you. At least in this, I don't have to worry about armadillos. The armadillos were worse than the hunters. Damn it, man. And I think the sword is worse than the bullet. The bullet I could jump over. This sword is just faster than the bullet. Out of my way hate these sword guys and I don't have a mask to take a hit now all right can I kill the guy from here no it keeps angling me to the side weird can I get him while I'm on this yes haha -ha. now I can get the checkpoint out of my way I don't need you cutting my pants off again Far back am I gonna have to go? Where was the no death path at? Oh wow, I went past the bonus level. Wait, am oh I'm going the wrong way. Well let me do this and I'm gonna have to go back that way. I went the wrong way. That's the end of the level right there. Well let's do this to just to get a checkpoint, then we'll go back and backtrack the other way. I'm used to the level going from left to right, but this one was going from right to left. Oh no, more nitrous boxes. Whatever am I going to do? Give me that fruit. Alright, well, let me get up there first. Okay, apparently I was in the blast radius of that. It's okay, it doesn't cost a life. Going back in. 
tried to trick me with that one. Okay, I can see there's not that many boxes. If I can get over that, the rest of it's not that hard. Got it. Okay, well this is going to be tough now. Or not. Aha! Tornado spin. All right, how many boxes? 69. And there's four right there. So we'll be missing... Oh, wait. No, there's one, two, three, four, five. Also, oh, I'll be missing one. There's one box somewhere. Back this way. Okay do that because then the weird thing about the no death path is it always lands you in a different spot than you jumped on to it Get out of my way all right where's this one box at there it is I think that's the last box because now we're at 70 and there's five ahead of me and the no death path was right here right I think it was either here or it was down there all right let's go I'm trying to trick me when wanted me to miss one box again I can do simple math I know I was missing something I'm not having the same thing happen to me that happened in tomb waiter not this time game monkey out of the way monkey yes yeah wait what yeah get that that. Oh, we're back up to 50 lives. Alright, do that. Don't care about that guy. We got both gems. We got the green gem down the no death path and the clear gem for breaking all the boxes. That is a successful end to this part. Oh, we got four out of five colored gems. The only colored gem we don't have is yellow, and we can't get it until my 700 subscriber celebration, because it's locked behind a stupid bonus level. All right. So now that we got the green gem, we can go back into Gone Tomorrow and get both those clear gems in the next part, and then we'll do the orange asphalt level then we'll do mad bombers and bug light and yeah then we'll do the cortex boss fight so we're almost done with this game probably three or four more parts and we should be done probably three not four probably three more parts but that should do it for part 17 we didn't start out great. First level, we couldn't get either clear gem, but we finished strong getting the green gem. And, uh, yeah. That was not a very hard level, luckily. I think that was the third or fourth level that took place in Saudi Arabia. But I liked that one. That one was fun, except for all the guys throwing the swords. I'd say of the enemies in that level, the most annoying are probably the guys throwing the swords and the guys, like, swinging the swords around. The guys throwing the Molotovs, you can easily get past them. 
The guys on the flying carpet, you can easily get past them. And even the monkey, as long as you know that the pots are facing towards him and not facing towards you, he's not that hard either. You just have to worry about him buncing you. But that's about it. Um, yeah, I think next time we'll go back into Gone Tomorrow. And then we'll probably do Orange Asphalt. Unless Orange Asphalt's going to be a part of itself, which it might be. Orange Asphalt might have to be its own part, because that's that's a hard level. And I thought the other two were hard. The other two biker levels. But uh, yeah, that'll do it for this part. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like on it. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new by hitting that subscribe button. I'm currently at 469 subscribers, so with your help, I can get that up to 500, and then from there, who knows where we can go to, and then you can click on that notification bell, set it to all notifications so you don't miss any of my videos, and I'll catch you guys in my next part, so I'll see you all later.